second phase of user authentication we are going to discuss about biometrics different types of biometrics characteristics of biometrics and of course important features of biometric authentication systems as we know biometrics involves something a person is or a person does nowadays biometrics is computerized method of recognizing an individual there are different types of biometrics fundamentally two types of biometrics namely physiological biometrics for example fingerprints face retina iris and behavioral biometrics example gait signature are the two important fundamental types of biometrics physiological biometrics refers to what the person is or they measure the physical parameters of certain parts of the body whereas here in fingerprints iris retina hand geometry face are some examples of this physiological biometrics whereas behavioral biometrics shows how the person is using the body for authentication examples are keystroke dynamics mouse dynamics signature gait voice these are all some of the behavioral biometrics there is another type called esoteric biometrics which is another class of biometrics some examples of this type are vein pattern body order brain wave pattern facial thermography skin luminance finger uh, nail bed ear shape footprint then foot dynamics lip print lip movement knee creases elbow creases sweat pores tooth etc there are certain other biometrics they are known as the soft biometrics are also available soft biometrics is not distinct and permanent they are not enough to uniquely identify a person soft biometrics when combined with primary biometrics like face fingerprint iris and retina gives better results examples of soft biometrics involves age height weight body fat content eye color skin color scar tattoos marks etc all these biometrics add meaning to the phrase our body as password so biometric traits like fingerprint retina and iris have certain merits compared to other biometrics because they can be employed in specific applications fingerprints are largely universal fingerprints are unique even for identical twins fingerprints are reliable easy to measure and impact high user convenience moreover fingerprint capturing devices are inexpensive fingerprint scanners are more accurate faster and they require less computation and storage facilities fingerprint is one of the most accepted form of biometrics iris provides high speed of comparison and it is well suited for one to many identifications the iris templates are more stable and have more uh, template longevity iris templates need not be updated frequently and a single enrollment can last a lifetime iris has a fine texture even genetically identical individuals have completely independent iris textures unlike dna next is retina scanning it is quite accurate and it is unique to each individual like iris the retina patterns are unique and difficult to duplicate a retina scan cannot be faked as it is currently impossible to forge a human retina furthermore retina of a deceased person decays too rapidly to be used to deceive a retina scan retina being the internal organ is less prone to damage also therefore 
Retina is more suitable for high security applications like military, access to power plant and other high security government applications. Each type of biometrics has its own advantages and limitations. Now we will compare the different types of biometrics. For example, the physiological and behavioral biometrics. Each one has got its own advantages and limitations. First, we will take the physiological type of biometrics. Physiological biometrics can be spoofed. Difficulties in implementing them. It is expensive. It requires special hardware. It is more intrusive. Whereas behavioral biometrics are difficult to distinct, distinguish a live user from a recorded person. Most of the systems under this require a special device and it is cost prohibitive and it can be forged also. When you look at the advantages of behavioral biometrics over physiological biometrics, behavioral biometrics has an edge over its counterpart which is the physiological biometrics on the capacity to work in secrecy mode verification. The way people do things such as speaking like voice, typing rhythm like keystroke dynamics, writing like signature and walking style as gait recognition are some examples. Behavioral biometrics such as the way one signs a name or types a password are unique as well as they have much lower impact on privacy and cost. The approach and the method in which one types on the computer keyboard varies from individual to individual and it is considered to be a unique feature as far as behavioral biometric is concerned. Behavioral biometrics finds its applications in many areas like financial institutions, businesses, government facilities and retail post point of sales etc. Unlike many types of physiological biometrics, behavioral biometrics can be embedded with its existing hardware and it requires only software analysis. This capacity makes the behavioral biometrics simpler and less costly to implement compared to other user authentication mechanisms. Thank you.